April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. If you didn't know, in Placer County, for perspective, there are 16,000 reported cases of child abuse every year in just that one county. But there are organizations trying to help children, including Kids First Child Abuse Council of Placer County. The organization is celebrating its 35th year this year. Joining us now is the CEO, Debbie Gabelich, and Miss Placer County and former Kids First client, Bailey Breen. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having it's great us. to have you this Friday Thank afternoon. You for having me. Okay, Debbie, what should our viewers know about Kids First and the work that you do? Well, we've been around 35 years, um, and in that time, we've helped over 100,000 children and their families with abuse and neglect. I think the most important thing to realize is who we help are your next door neighbors. It can be the, the lady at the grocery store. It doesn't, it, it, it there's no, child abuse doesn't, um, doesn't discriminate as right. to who it's coming after. I think the effects from the pandemic and financial stress on families have sure. definitely acerbated the issue that we have, but uh, I think groups like us that can help prevent it in those homes and keep those children in safe locations is really what we're there for. So 16,000 reported cases yep. every year, big job. What happens when Kids First gets contacted? We get, we get between 300 and 400 calls a month wow. for services. We serve ourselves about 5,000 5, individuals a year. Uh, and so they come in, they're referred to us, we check in to see what their needs are. It can be anything from support on our family resource side sure. for housing, homes, food, whatever basic yeah. needs are, to they need specialized therapy for child abuse, it could be neglect. We also have a team that's on the street for C6, which is the sexually exploited youth that are out there. Um, so whatever the needs are in the community to keep them so safe, I'm one of several groups in Placer County that really works on these initiatives. Okay, and Bailey Breen, you're a client, so uh, you've had interactions with Kid First. Can you tell us a little bit about your story? Yes, yeah, so when I was seven years old, my family was torn apart by a bitter divorce and custody battle. And being a child caught in that turmoil, I found myself left with anxiety and panic disorder and you know even being on the playground at school I would have anxiety attacks and you know obsess over what would happen um, but that's when I walked through the doors to kids first and they just created a safe space for me to be able to talk about my struggles and they taught me healthy, healthy coping mechanisms to channel my emotions in a positive way and I truly wouldn't be sitting here with you without the help from that them. That is fantastic. Thanks for sharing a bit of your story. Now you're in college. You're yes. about to finish in a year or two. Yes. yes. And then going on to law school. Yes. Um, I'm currently a junior at the University of Oklahoma. I'm majoring in letters and constitutional studies, and I plan on going to law school next year. And hopefully in California, right? Yes. Hopefully, McGeorge. I'm, I'm going to apply. <laughs> that is fantastic. Both of you, thank you for sharing. We know we have an event coming up, right, Debbie? We do. It's one of, this is Child Abuse Prevention month there are dozens of activities in Placer County uh, the largest being our family resource fair on April 25th it's out at Maidu Community Center and we'd love everyone to come on out and be able to see all the different attributes of what we've got for the community to keep those kids safe and that's from 2 to 6 p.m. again both of you thank you for coming in happy Friday thank you thank so you. much for having us we're all gonna mark our calendars what a great organization thank you so much for being here